Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GMRS. I just read something interesting. I did a unboxing of the UV5R radio a couple of months ago, or maybe a month ago. And uh, there was a, a discussion about being Part 90 compliant. There was a discussion on the actual video comments written down. And I'm actually, I did a little bit more research on this and I actually have the declaration here and I'm actually this is actually on the F I'll put the link and all this information in the description below for you guys to read and research yourself but I am blown away actually this says dear whom may be concerned we declare this equipment meets the requirements of FCC rules part 90.203E and G as applicable. Programming of this product transmit frequencies can be performed only by the manufacturer or by surface or maintenance personnel. The operator cannot program transmit frequencies using the equipment equipment's external operation. Now this is the part that will blow your mind. Oh, we also declare that the device will not be marketed to USA users with the frequency band which is not allowed by rule part 90. It will be in violation of FCC rules if this device is operated on unauthorized frequencies inside the United States of America. Go. So, this is technically not allowed to be sold in the United States, yet we can get it. So, that violates the rule. So, these are illegal in the United States. So, what does that say? I mean, what does that say for Amazon? They're actually ignoring the law and shipping it to USA customers. Is it my responsibility to be looking up the FCC if it's part 90 compliant radio equipment is it really my as an amateur radio or a GMRS user I mean I only did this because of the argument or the discussion I should say that's going on the channel on that video and that's why I did this video right now because I'm actually shocked so the UV5R or any of their products I have even bothered to look at I already looked at the UV5R because that's what we're that's what everybody's discussing so I'm at a loss here, or in awe, that this is de not allowed in the United States, yet I have it in my possession. So who's at fault? So if you guys want to comment below on this video and figure out who's at fault here, it would be the FCC for giving them the ID, the FCC ID? Or would it be making it seem like to the end users, such as ourselves, that it is part 90 compliant, but it's technically, it is part 90, but not in the USA. So the FCC, it's, it's really weird. There's a lot of finger pointing here. You guys are really into this stuff and you understand it better. Please comment below and educate everybody and help everybody. This would be great. I love paying it forward and having, I don't know everything. There's no way in hell I can know everything, but I try my best. So comment below if you have an answer or some sort of a comment for this. If you guys like this video, and by the way, thank you to all the subscribers that are on. I think I hit 140 or 100 and 138 subscribers. Thank you so much. I thank you all that, you, that have subscribed to my channel. I'm extremely grateful. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you for watching the Amateur Radio and GMRS channel. Take care.